Well guys, I wanted to come out to you today and talk about just simple things that you guys got to worry about in your everyday biking life or even your car life if you have obviously you guys are going to have cars. But I wanted to take you along Lakeshore here in St. Cloud, uh, not St. Cloud, Kissimmee, Florida actually. We're on, this is Lake Toho here. It runs right near downtown. It's a really huge lake, big bass fishing lake. But what I wanted to guys tell you guys about is that, you know, maintenance is one thing you guys have got to work on. You guys know if you follow me that I just recently um, uh, had the tires replaced both front and back. I had everything checked on it. I had the oil changed. They checked the brakes, air filter, the whole nine yards. And that is uh, something that each and every one of us has to make sure that we uh, keep up on if we want to keep our beautiful bikes or cars running. All right, guys, so when I'm talking about maintenance, that has more to do than just uh, changing the oil, guys. And if you want your very expensive bikes, I know some of these bikes are 15,000. I know some Harleys get up to like 30,000, which to me is just retarded. It's a bike. That's a little bit too much for a bike for my taste. But I know there's, you know, the BMWs are $15,000. And, you know, this bike wasn't that expensive, you know. But the fact is that if you want your vehicles to last for years and years, you have got to do the maintenance on it, guys. It is one of those big, serious things that you've got to look into. Or are you going to have some breakdowns? You're going to be stuck in the side of the road calling for a tow truck or your boy to come up there in the pickup truck and ramps to come get you. And that is serious, guys, that so many people forget to check their stuff on. I know you guys have seen the picture. Maybe I'll find a link where, you know, the engine is literally seized up because it the oil was so old. My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turn signal. Holy shit! But guys, for the most part, you know, a lot of this, us sport bike guys, well, I'm not really a sport bike yet, I'm still a, a newbie, you know. But, uh, you know, we have Japanese bikes that are 100% made in Japan, and these bikes are made to last for years and years. I mean, there's no re there's a reason why Honda, Toyota, Nissan all came into the United States in the late 70s. And by the 80s, they were just taking the market by a storm, you know, as in the car market because the American car quality was terrible. And they just said, hey, you just change your oil and your, uh, in our cars and stuff. These, these cars are going to run for 10, 20 years if you just do basic maintenance. And honestly, that is so true because without it, you know, we wouldn't have ever had it. This woman does not know how to use a fucking roundabout. Stupid! I was already in the roundabout. So what I tell you guys to do is just do simple maintenance, guys. If you are new to the bike world or you're new to even having a, your own car, do simple things. Change your oil every 3,000 miles for one. That's one of the biggest things you can do to make sure that engine lasts forever. Obviously, too, you want to check those tires. You've got to make sure that you are riding on some good quality tires and not anything that is, um, you know, out of quality and out of service. That if something were to happen, that you would have no traction on trying to stop, emergency stop, uh, maybe riding in the rain, you got no traction, man. You could be all over the road. You're gonna be sliding. And uh, these are basic things you would check with just a little bit of a penny, you know, the Lincoln's head, just drop it in there to check the size. I mean, I have never been back here before. Hmm. Old part of town. Another one of the things, obviously, to do is check your brakes, guys. If you can't stop, you are going to die. What are you doing? <laughs> so there you go, guys. These are basic tutorials that everybody, even as a new rider to an experienced rider, needs to know about. Because, you know, you spent all that money on this bike or the car and you're sitting there riding in it and you do not want to break down that is one of the worst feelings but I know as a younger person you guys are gonna have financial priorities that you're gonna be like I'd rather go to the club than I'd rather have this bike serviced you know and oh and then suddenly guess what happens a month later you need to do an emergency stop and you're metal on metal and see you later guys you're done for you're gonna hit that pole you're gonna hit that car in front of you and uh, you know it $100 worth of brake pads and set it up or whatever, 
you would have actually lived and that's what I you know these are things that I want to see happen that I want to see everybody survive out there on so yeah guys the moral of this subject is just do your basic basic maintenance guys and your bikes will literally run for years and years and years now I know financially it's gonna you might have some problems in being like oh man that's just too much money to spend but is your life, how much is your life worth? Is your life worth $200, $300 in new tires and oil change? I mean, if it's worth less than that, then that's your call. But to me, my life's worth a lot more than 300 bucks. I put rain and tires on, oil change. I wanted everything fully inspected on this. I paid roughly around $400. What are you doing? And you know, right there, if I would have had an emergency brake, that could have been, you know, my life if I didn't have uh, proper brakes on. And that goes to show you right there. I don't know what that guy was thinking just sitting there. He would look was coming straight at me and he finally realized and he got stayed in the middle. But that's all it is, guys. This is just a small tutorial, guys, for you all who are newer to just keep up with your maintenance, guys. You save a little bit of money now, but if your engine goes or whatever, pff, you're done. That bike, that bike might as well be done unless you're going to buy a brand new motor, which... There you're in another grand there, maybe more, I don't know, honestly, what a motorcycle engine goes for nowadays. But even at two grand, it's like, I could have had an oil change every three uh, 3,000 miles or more, depending on what type of oil you had. You could have just kept up with the car, but you refused to. Oh, well. So anyways, guys, I hope you like this little bit of a, a short clip of a tutorial that you know, for the newer bikers out there, you know, I always try and make these videos for all you newer guys that are out there because I was just like you guys just back in November when I first bought this bike and I went to the MSF course. So I really want to make sure that you guys know the best way to take care of your bikes being new is just like your cars, guys. Just do basic maintenance on it and these bikes will run and run and run. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I know it's uh, basic, very basic stuff, but if you like it, make sure you hit that likes up, thumbs up button for me, subscribe for me, share my videos. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys at the very next video. And hopefully we just keep having some great days like this. This is some beautiful weather down here this week. Anyways, guys, take care and I will see you guys later.